What up everybody, this your girl Lala, aka the baddest woman of YouTube, and I am here for another video. Yes, I'm in my car right now because I'm waiting on my food, so why not just close this video real quick, because there's been a lot of shit going on in the wrestling world, in the wrestling community. Um, well, sorry, I just got a text message. Okay, so sorry about that. So there's been a lot going on in the wrestling community. Um, no, well, not wrestling community in the wrestling world, and it's been bad shit crazy. That yeah, a lot's been happening. So if you're new to my channel, welcome to Lala's Empire. And in addition, um, not only welcome to Lala's Empire. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your notification, and also like, comment, share this video. Also, um, cop both my merches. One, my merch of my of Lala's Empire tied to this YouTube channel. And also, I am a brand rep for For My Melanin, so you want to go ahead and co cop that as well. All that information is now going to be down in the description box down below. And also, follow me on my social media, because I know if you're not getting alerts that I upload a new video, no worries. I will upload the information on my social media, so it will be there in my information down below as well. So, let's go ahead and get started. So... If you guys are not aware, and I found this out recently, so you know WWE has been cleaning house. Like they've been letting people go, letting people go, letting people go, letting people go. It's like that. How many people y'all trying to fire? So apparently Drew Gal Gulak got released. Unfortunately, he got released. And I was like, wait a minute, I just saw him at SmackDown Live. That don't make no sense. That doesn't make no sense at all. So, Drew Gulak is released from WWE. Then we have The Undertaker continue with his contract with WWE as well. I think it's a Legends contract, so we're talking about 15 years. And I know everybody's been losing their minds, talking about, okay, you know, he's going to be like, what, 70 years old, this, that, and the third, whoop, whoop, whoop. But y'all got to understand, this man does not have to show up every day like like the other wrestlers do it. Hopefully, this is not loud. Um, Hopefully, you guys still can hear me because I have the AC on. Um, My thing is that he's still going to be around, but he's still going to come, like, you know, when it's certain events like WrestleMania's. You know, sign pay-per-views. So that's the contract they they're doing. But you know, hope, so all he has to do is train for that event. He doesn't have to train to go show up like every day, like how Ric Flair was doing when he came back. No, that's a whole different story. Now, there's another one that's been like buzzing around lately. Is you guys remember Crime Time, right? So I'm reading up already. Shad Gaspar, you know Shad, the tall, the taller guy from Crime Time. Apparently, he's been okay. He went swimming at Venice Beach on Sunday. Uh, it was him and his ten-year-old son, and a group and a bunch of group of swim, swimmers were caught in the riptide in the ocean. So the lifeguards was able to save the child, but Shad is. Um, missing, but then they say that one official reported he said that he believed he did submerge. Divers and helicopters have been used to search, but the 39 year old has not been found. So, um, and if you don't know Shad, Shad was um, part of Crime Time along with his buddy JTG. I know Ch JTG is like hurting right now. I know he's thinking, like, oh my god, where did my friend go? I know he's out here, you know, helping out with the search. So, right now, there's no telling of it, where it's his whereabouts, but they are looking for him. So, hopefully, he get found because Shad was a, is a tall dude, so he can't be missed. So, that's one thing that's going on right now. And another thing is, it's this big old situation going on with Leo Rush and Mark Henry. So, apparently, Leo Rush went on let me see he went on you know Jabba Tears podcast and he also 
he brought it up to somewhere else where it's about the situation that happened between him and Mark Henry. Um, I guess it was like a little apparently Mark Henry said some stuff about him. Leo Rush brought it up back to light. And now Mark Henry is looking to sue him for defamation of character. So let me get this straight. Because the way the story was told, like Leo Rush said what he said about Mark Henry. And now it looks like Mark Henry is in his feelings about it. Because they feel like, okay, why is he bringing it up from long ago? To me, okay... Once that person is released from the company, they have the God-given right to say what they want to say. I don't think Leo Rush, I don't believe Leo Rush say, oh, Mark Henry is this, that, and the third, and their mom. So, to have this kid sued for defamation of character, no, that's pure garbage. Especially now, he's released from the company. That didn't make no sense at all to me for Mark Henry to do that. Unless he's trying to, like, cover up something um or anything like that but he's telling he's telling he said on like tmz he is going to file a lawsuit if um leo rush does not apologize at all and this has been some response saying that apparently because there's been like a war of wars between them According to this article that I just pulled up, they said that in a recent Twitter post released, 30DE superstar Leo Rush reacted to Mark Henry threatening to sue him for his comments. Rush said he is too could sue Henry for defaming him in public. So pretty much these two could sue each other for defamation of character. See, this is why you got to be careful what you say on camera. Especially me. I'm a YouTuber. And I got to be careful 9 times out of 10 because... There's some people I know out there that, <laughs> that I know that I could just say I could ruin their lives, but I'm not trying to get sued, so I'm good. I believe Leo Rush went on to say to, that the world will want to remember Mark Henry as one of the greatest heels ever and not for threatening someone for legal action in the middle of the pan pandemic. So... The tweet was, couldn't I just do the same for publicly deframe, deframing my name on national radio? Mark Henry, come on, man. You're going out sad. You deserve to be remembered for the greatest heel term uh, ever for not threatening to sue a 25-year-old in the middle of a pandemic, which that's true. Mind you, this whole thing started was Mark Henry went on radio. What radio station was it? It happened on Busted Open Radio when Mark Henry accused Leo Rush of blatantly lying to his face when the world's strongest man reached out to Leo Rush and when he had problems backstage. Mark Henry also questioned Leo Rush spending on his money poorly. After that, during an Instagram Live, Mark Henry said that there was no heat between the two but said that Rush didn't take his advice when Henry was trying to help him navigate his way in WWE. Leo Rush did not take these words too kindly and retaliated on Twitter in a series of tweets and accused Mark Henry of lying about him. He called it. That's true. He could have freaking. Leo Rush could have went ahead and sued Mark Henry first for defamation of character because it's like, yo, you out here lying on my name. My name. About how I'm spending my money and about how I'm rolling, how I'm, you know, how I am in the WWE. So it's like, Leo Rush could have sued him first. Pretty much, Leo Rush did not take these words too kindly and retaliated on Twitter in a series of tweets and accused Mark Henry of lying about him. He called out Mark Henry publicly and asked the world's strongest man to have him on his podcast so they can have a conversation for the world to hear. Mark Henry responded to this by saying that he has mentored many wrestlers in the past but accused Rush of not taking his advice. More recently, Mark Henry threatened, yeah, and then he went ahead and tried to sue him, but that don't make no sense. AEW Joe AEW star Joey Janela responded to this, asking Mark Henry to calm down and ask him to stop being a boop. Stop being a big baby. Yikes. So let's see how that's gonna go. I don't think there's gonna be any fucking suing anytime soon because how you gonna try to sue Leo Rush during the time of the pandemic? That don't make no sense at all. And it's like this is some shit that happened what years back 
during the time when Leo Rush was employed. You had all the time in the world to freaking pull this kid, you know, for him to say, okay, you know, Mark Henry over here said all this shit. Leo Rush could have freaking sued him. I'm sorry, Leo Rush could have freaking sued him for defamation of character. Now, during the time of the pandemic, you want to talk about, oh, I'm going to sue for defamation of character, knowing the fact that this kid is unemployed and he just got released. You wildin'. And you still got you still got time on WWE's hands and you still on the on the clock with WWE? You wildin'. Nope. Don't do that to that kid. But hopefully, you know, this gets squashed and buried. In addition, um, I don't know if this is true or not because I saw this on the article. I came across it, but I don't know if it's true or not. The situation with Brock Lesnar, they said he signed another, a three-year, let me see. Let me see if I can find it. That's a contract. This is true or not before I report it because I don't want to tell y'all one thing and y'all be like, Lala, what the hell? Okay, so it wasn't true. Apparently, there was some article out there saying that. Hold on. It was some article out there that's saying that there's like a three year contract of a no match but I was like that don't make no sense so you have Undertaker's art, um, contract which that makes sense it's a Legends art, it's, it's probably a Legends contract and then you got Brock Lesnar's contract that's like a three year match comment down below if that's a, a three what was it a three year match um contract but that don't make no sense so that means Three year no match contract. That's the article I came across. I don't, and comment down below if that, that stuff is fake or not because sometimes they do release like fake news when it comes to wrestling. So you can't tell if it's real or not or fake or not. So if y'all watching this, comment down below if that is fake. Okay? Comment down below. Till then, this is all I have today from Wrestling Tea. Normally, I drink my my little tea mug. Maybe y'all can get from Lala's Empire Store at Teespring. You know, click on the link. But till then, this is your girl Lala. Thank you for watching Lala's Empire. I'll see you guys later.